What's up, everyone? Um, got a couple calls today of people actually being proactive and asking what they could do to make their computers run better, last longer, um, to have less downtime. So, um, I have a few things I want to share with everyone. They are basic things, high level things, uh, high view things, maybe not high level. Uh, when it comes to both uh, PCs and Macs, certain things that you should do at your home computer and your office computer, any computer you're using to uh, prolong its existence. First, avoid physical damage. It's a laptop, don't drop it. If it's a desktop, don't kick it over. Uh, keep liquids away from them, so don't, even though I drink all the time, but my coffee is always far away, so if it spills, it's not going to get on my laptop. So avoid coffee, water, or any kind of liquid. Um, landing on your machine. Uh, keep it away from dust, so you got to clean it, and um, excessive heat. Excessive cold can also be a problem, but chances of you, I don't know, operating your uh, laptop or desktop somewhere where it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit, probably very small. So um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and one more thing when it comes to hardware. Turn it off. If you're not going to use it for a while, um, if it's server, obviously it's a different beast, different machine, different operating system, different hardware, but your regular um, XP machine at home, service pack 2 or 3 or whatever you're running at, or Vista, or um, um, OS 10 on the Mac side. Um, don't leave it on overnight. It's, it's kind of like your car. I mean, that's the analogy I want to use today. Do you leave your car on for 8 hours and let it idle in your driveway because you're going to need it in the morning? You don't. So you turn it off. Uh, if you're going to use it somewhere uh, at a different office or a floor, put it to sleep. It's a laptop. Close the lid, put it to sleep, and then move it. Don't walk around with the computer on and a hard drive spinning at its full speed because um, that can damage your data, corrupt the hard drive files, and it, it's just bad news. Um, other than that, um, stay current with updates, Microsoft updates, Windows updates. On a PC end, if that's what you're running, I'm assuming I'm, I'm talking to the majority of people, the majority of people are either using Windows or Mac. Um, if any of you Linux folks are interested in, in hearing more, most of these things apply, but leave me a comment or something, we can get into more detail there. Um, on the Mac end, software update, so get Apple's updates, and um, use the free tools that are available for maintenance, for cleaning um, cash and cookies and all these other things that you don't need or that they pile up and slow the machine down, um, adware, malware, spyware, all these other wares. Um, on a PCN, you have Adaware, you have SpyBot, you have Windows Defender, which comes built in. Well, part of the operating system pretty much comes with the operating system for Microsoft. It's free. Um, C Cleaner. Some people call it C C Cleaner, but it's actually C Cleaner. Um, any of these, they're all free. I'm going to link them all below this uh, video on my blog so you can get to them yourself and use them if you haven't already. Uh, on a Mac, um, run maintenance scripts. Uh, if your Mac is on for a very long time, if it's generally they run it every once a day or so. Um, if your Mac is on for a very long period of time, they will run on their own. Um, if it's not, you can run them yourself. Uh, you can also, you also look at the permissions uh, with um, uh, check permissions on your Mac, repair them. Uh, some of the tools we use here are, let's say, uh, Disk Warrior, Tech Tools, Cocktail. Some of these are uh, products you have to pay for, but they're fairly affordable. They're inexpensive and they're worth their money. They're worth the investment. If you're an avid Mac user, if you're always in your computer, or if you're supporting Macs, you should have these in your arsenal in order to ease your, uh, ease your uh, maintenance process and, and reduce the time you actually have to spend repairing this computer down the road. So if it's something's maintained properly throughout, it, it will last longer, and when something does go wrong, it will be much easier to repair than if you're just using it. It's like kind of like driving a car, but never changing the oil. Or belts or anything like that. I mean, you're probably going to run into other problems, which could cause your whole engine to, I don't know, blow up. Um, so yeah, those are pretty much um, all three tools. Most of them. Uh, uh, there are a few more uh, on, on OS 10. There's Applejack, Onyx. Um, I will link those as well. You can get them yourself. Some are free. Some you have to pay for. Like I said, um, that's pretty much it. If everyone does this, their machines, I guarantee it, will run longer and and perform better. One more thing, um, most important thing, uh, is to back up your files. Think about it as if someone came into your house and took that laptop from you or threw it down the stairs or whatever it is, that desktop, and it was clearly gone. Which files did you need? Whether it's music, your photos, 
videos, your Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint, I don't need database, whatever you have, back those things up. Put it in a schedule. Don't do it when you are, just remember to back up. Create a schedule for it. Do it every week. Whenever you get up on Sunday and you go online for an hour in the morning, whatever, you're not doing really any work, work. Um, put that in your schedule. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm going to back up my files. Um, that's it, because everything else can be recovered. I mean, if you have an IT staff that works uh, with you, uh, they can recover everything. Pretty much, or just reimage it again, or replace the hardware component that failed. But losing your data that you've spent uh, days, weeks, months, uh, sometimes even years working on creating and building is is um, not a pleasant experience. And I've seen a number of clients go through that, and they really messes with their minds, and it's not a pleasant sight. So number one, back up your stuff all the time. Everything else, software, apps, hardware, can all be replaced your personal individual data and stuff that you've created is that is of most value to you. Um, that's pretty much it. I can't see the longer I talk the worse I sound. So I'm still kind of sick. So I will stop now. But um, if you have any other input, um, any ideas uh, for PC maintenance, Mac maintenance, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, this is all kind of just basic stuff that everyone should be able to do on their own. And if anyone is interested in more detailed uh, tips as to how to clean the registry, what to look for, a couple other things, things that should be starting up, and uh, the list goes on and on. Let me know. Leave me a comment or contact me, and I will gladly help you. Have a great day.